moment after kissing, we are moist and lost in looking deep inside the open spaces in each other's eyes. In the moment after kissing, I sink into my thinking, drinking in landscape shaped from my memories. Freud and Bradshaw both agreed that the cycle of our knowing begins at birth and grows through showing. We can rise above our early developmental histories. And deep inside my thinking, behind my eyes, I'm laughing at my infantile regression to a garden of first touches, forming of attachments, gentle cooing noises, and gazing for eternity. Then the landscape fades, and I see his face, see that he has noticed that I was not there, that he has also gone elsewhere. And in that moment of reflection with him, a mirror of my vacancy, I wonder if he can really see me as I am, or if he's lying for admission into both my heart and bed. But he sees the look. He's read my book and rescues me instead, pulling me deeper, and so I go with him with a yes and mmm and sort of sigh. His are blue and my eyes are brown and deep as we go down until I see that something has spooked him and he surfaces without me, waiting sly as if to see if danger lies in my company. But I bide my time Tend the fire, watch the moon, and warm the coals until he's down again. Down to where the grass is green, the earth rich and warm between our toes. As we sink and deeper go to where the silence seeps like dew at dawn. Down to where I can hear him thinking, can hear the blood moving through him, can hear the heart beneath that beats in on, and neither of us dare to speak or break the rhythm of taking the other in with each breath until a flood of peace breaks the fever of that damn fear wide open until we are covered by the sweetness found in putting our defenses down and letting love make summer rain until our hearts are moist and warm again. Mm -hmm. In the moment after kissing, a hundred miles are covered. One million words are spoken without silence being broken. Deep inside the open spaces in each other's eyes. Thank you. Thank you.